If you are part of the 10% who has experienced kidney stones, you absolutely have to watch this video to discover the best and fastest way to pass kidney stones quickly at home. Hello, this is Catherine. Welcome to Double O Kidney. Don't forget to like and subscribe. In this video, I'll show you how to dissolve kidney stones quickly and naturally using just home remedies. So, you're experiencing a harsh pain that radiates from your sides or your back. You're also having a frequent urge to urinate and maybe you found some blood in the urine. You are already familiar with kidney stones and you know this is it again. The pain from kidney stones is as severe as getting stabbed with a knife or giving birth. It comes without a warning and it is very difficult to alleviate. Why are kidney stones so painful? They have razor sharp, jagged edges that can tear through the tissue of your kidneys and ureters as they move through the urinary tract. In some cases, Pain can become so severe that you can even sit or find a comfortable position. Kidney stones are not a life-threatening situation in most of the cases, but they are awful nonetheless. You can avoid this with the right home remedy. There's a way to alleviate the pain and it is to smooth the sharp edges of the stones before passing them. There are in fact some home remedies capable of doing so and alleviate the symptoms in a small amount of time. Ready to start? Here is the top 5 surefire home remedies to dissolve the kidney stones quickly. Number 5. Chanka Piedra Supported by several clinical tests and used today by thousands of people with documented results, Chanka Piedra is a herbal remedy derived from the ancient Indian medicine. Chanka Piedra has in fact undergone several clinical trials that have shown its impact on uric acid and calcium oxalate kidney stones. A German physician, Wolfram Wiemann, tested Chanka Piedra on patients with kidney stones with outstanding results for a study this large. 94% of patients has passed their kidney stones in just two weeks or less. None of them reported any side effects. Chanka Piedra benefits have been observed on many conditions like UTIs, high blood pressure, pain, gallstones, diabetes, and constipation. Scroll to comment section for the links to the sources of these studies. I've also posted a list of trusted sellers of Chanka Piedra supplements. My advice is to use Chanka Piedra as the first thing against kidney stones. Keep some Chanka Piedra supplements always ready if frequently suffer from kidney stones. Number 4. Olive oil and lemon juice. A very popular home remedy made from very easy to source ingredients. It is thought to help dissolving the kidney stones and help passing them. The best olive oil to use is extra virgin olive oil because it is the thickest and healthiest. There is some evidence of this method working, especially if used at the first appearance of symptoms. The lemon juice, being very acidic, is thought to be able to break down the kidney stones, while olive oil will aid with lubrication. To get the best results, mix 6 ounces of lemon juice with 6 ounces of olive oil. My advice is to mix very well the ingredients to prevent them from separating. Sip this concoction every 15 minutes, not all together, to avoid vomiting it. Repeat this two times a day first thing in the morning and in the afternoon on empty stomach until the symptoms are gone. Remember, visit the restroom every time it is needed without waiting too much. Number 3 
apple cider vinegar. This home remedy is widely used to treat a vast number of ailments like heartburn and dandruff, and a lot of people swear by it. The citric acid is what is supposed to dissolve the kidney stones. It can help alkalize the urine and the blood, promoting the natural production of hydrochloric acid and preventing the formation of new stones and easing the pain. My advice is to use apple cider vinegar as a mean of prevention rather than a cure. I recommend to drink two tablespoons twice a day mixed with water. Number two, dandelion roots and leaves. This remedy has been used since the times of the ancient Rome and the Anglo-Saxons for its many benefits on the human body. It is especially helpful on the kidneys, liver, joint, and gallbladder. It also has anti-inflammatory properties that can help soothe the pain. Its benefits on the kidneys have been studied by the Journal of the Atmopharmacology that published a paper showing how dandelion can help solving many kidney problems. It has been shown to help producing bile, which is fundamental to help eliminating waste and increase urine output, helping passing a kidney stone faster. I've linked in comment section some ways you can find dandelion roots and leaves to make tea. This is very helpful if used in combination with the other home remedies. Number 1 water. Okay, I've kept the most important thing last. Water is what you really need to pass a kidney stone. You really, really need to drink a lot of fluids to increase the urine output and make the stones pass faster. What I recommend is to drink up to 16 cups of water a day if you have kidney stones. Drinking a lot of water is really important even if you're not having a kidney stone right now, but usually suffer from them. And since we are talking about prevention, there are a couple of things worth knowing about kidney stones. They are most frequently made from calcium oxalate. I'll not get too deep in this. But you should know that lowering the intake of calcium in the diet is the exact opposite of what you should do. When you don't get enough calcium, the body will take it from your bones and it will be ready to mix with oxalate and make the stones. So get plenty of calcium. What you really need is to limit the intake of oxalate. It is naturally present in many foods including vegetables, fruits, legumes, and nuts. Foods with very high levels of oxalate should be avoided. These include rhubarb, sweet potatoes, peanuts, beets, spinach, chocolate. My advice is if you are really craving some high oxalate food, drink or eat plenty of calcium with it. This will make calcium and oxalate combine in the intestines and not in the kidneys and your body will be able to get rid of it painlessly. And drink a lot of water. And remember to always go to the restroom quickly when you need to. Don't wait. Talk to your doctor if you have any symptoms that make you worried. Immediately go see a doctor if you're experiencing one of these symptoms. Blood in the urine. Urinating becomes too difficult. Pain is too severe to sit comfortably. Vomiting. Nausea. Fever. This is all for today. Take care of yourself. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Double O Kidney. Feel free to leave a comment if you want to. And thanks for all the great support we are receiving.